Hello and welcome to this next lecture on acoustics. Last class we were looking at a forced semi infinite rod. We were trying to find a solution and we were at this point where we said that the B is 0, B tilde is 0. Okay. So, we are left with one unknown which requires one boundary condition. Okay. And that boundary condition is at the left end which is the forcing condition. So, at the end if, if this is the rod, the rod it goes off to infinity and at the left end I have a oscillatory force F tilde is F e j omega t. Okay. So, now what I will do is I will take a cut. So, we have to get the condition from here x equal to 0 we have to get the condition. So, I will take a cut very close to the end. Okay. So, I have taken a cut very close to the end so that this mass is negligible okay. and so, so actually it is this thin slice over here very thin slice and there is this oscillatory force. But I will expand this a little bit. So, it is it looks like this. Now, in order to get the condition correctly, okay, in order to get the boundary condition correctly with sign, again assume everything is positive all expressions and quantities are positive. Okay. Then my Young modulus is of course a positive quantity my del xi by del x at x equal to 0 is a positive quantity my xi at x equal to 0 is a positive quantity del xi by del t at x equal to 0 is a positive and so forth. Okay. So, now if del xi by del x is a positive quantity okay, that means this region close to the forcing is under tension. Okay. This tension Okay. Then the force on this cutout piece, the force on this cutout piece due to the rest of the element, I mean due to the rest of the bar will be towards the right. Okay. And the force on the right side cutout portion due to this piece will be on the left that is what is tensile. Okay. And what is the stress here now the stress will be E del xi by del x right this is the strain this is the stress at x equal to 0 and multiply by cross section is the force. So, at x equal to 0 what would be the boundary condition? I have a massless cutout element and there is a force acting on it F tilde and there is an internal force acting on it which is E s times E times del xi by del x and it should be equal to mass times acceleration, but mass is negligible. So, this is 0. Okay. So, if I put the terms in here I get f e to the power of j omega t then I get s e and del xi del x I take from here this equation 
that is equal to minus j times k a tilde e to the power of minus j k x but x is 0 and e to the power of j omega t that must be equal to 0. Then this e to the power j omega t is not 0 ever so I can divide both terms by it and x is equal to 0 so this becomes a 1. So what I have is f minus j k s e into a tilde is equal to 0 or a tilde is equal to f by j k s e ok. So now I will make some simplifications omega by c is k then e is rho c square rho c square. So k into e is going to be k into e is going to be the c gets cancelled is going to be omega rho c. So this is equal to f by j s omega rho c ok. So we have the answer there was one unknown to be found we used one boundary condition and we have found a ok. So the answer is xi tilde x comma t is equal to f by j s omega rho c e to the power j omega t minus j k x ok that is the answer that is the answer ok. So f by j s omega rho c let me remember that f by j s omega rho c that is my a tilde ok or let us say that is a full solution xi tilde x comma t e to the power of j omega t minus j k x ok. So that is the full solution nothing more to find out. Now as before let us try and find the mechanical impedance. mechanical impedance ok. So what is that as we just said before the mechanical impedance z mechanical looking from the force location is the f divided by v tilde ok. So we are find v tilde my xi tilde x comma t is f by j s omega rho c e to the power of j omega t minus k x. So del xi del t del xi del t and we wanted x equal to 0 that is multiply by j omega. So it is j omega f by j s omega rho c at x equal to 0 I will take it off and this is e to the power of j omega t and as we have said before this quantity is my v tilde this is my v tilde ok. So if we do a simplification omega goes j goes so f by rho c s f by rho c s 
e to the power j omega t okay and so now from here the mechanical impedance z mechanical is f divided by v tilde which is f rho c s hence it is rho c s this is the mechanical impedance. So, the mechanical impedance of this infinite rod or semi infinite rod which is driven at x equal to 0 ok this goes off to infinity is rho C s. Okay. So, immediately we see that z tilde is purely real purely real ok. So, that means the energy or power supplied by the force is taken away to infinity is taken away by the rod to infinity ok. So, there is no nothing returning there is no nothing returning and therefore, there is no imaginary part that means B tilde is 0. So, no returning wave. no returning wave and therefore, imaginary part of this is 0 and hence no resonances ok. It is also because no interference ok with the propagating wave towards the right Okay, there is a propagating wave towards the right. There is nothing to interfere, okay, and therefore there are no resonances, no imaginary part going to zero, no returning wave, B tilde is zero. Okay, so that's that is the semi infinite rod. Now, to complete the idea, we will do a finite forced, we will call it fixed rod. So, there is a rod that is now finite in length. Okay, x equal to L and here it is fixed into the wall. So, that my displacement at x equal to L for all time is equal to 0. Okay. So, now because this is a finite rod, because it is a finite rod, my solution will have both the terms in it A tilde e to the power of minus j k x plus B tilde e to the power of j k x e to the power of j omega t ok. Now, there are two unknowns, unknowns are two in number a tilde and b tilde 
So we need two conditions, two boundary conditions. So the first one at x equal to 0 is the same as before f tilde plus E s del xi by del x, x equal to 0 is equal to 0. Okay, we have seen this before just in the previous case. Here we saw this, the same condition here. Okay, and the other is at x equal to L my xi at x equal to L for all time is 0. Okay, so let us do the second one first. So if we do that xi tilde at L comma t is equal to A tilde minus j k L plus B tilde e to the power of j k L e to the power of j omega t equal to 0. Okay. So, this is not 0, so we can cancel it out. What that means is that my B tilde is equal to minus A tilde e to the power of minus 2 j k L. <coughs> okay. So, we will use this in equation 1. We have found this from 2. So, we will use this in equation 1. So, if we do that or first of all my expression for xi then becomes using this in the first expression xi, I get xi x comma t is a tilde e to the power of minus j k x and b is minus a tilde e to the power of minus 2 j k l e to the power of j k x e to the power j m r t. Okay. So, now we are going to implement the first condition on this equation. So, if we do that we get f e to the power of j omega t plus e s del xi del x is minus j k a tilde e to the power of minus j k x minus a tilde e to the power of minus 2 j k l into j k e to the power of j k x at x equal to 0 that must be equal to 0. So, if we implement x equal to 0 then this term becomes 1, this term becomes 1. So, if I write this equation after a simplification I get f okay there used to be a e to the power j omega t we will keep that e to the power j omega t and that also can be cancelled because it is not 0. So, I have f plus e s a tilde minus j k minus j k e to the power of minus 2 j k l equal to 0. So, this 0 minus helps me. So, my f is equal to a tilde e s j k 1 plus e to the power of minus 2 j k l. So, that my a tilde is equal to f over j k e s
1 plus e to the power of minus 2 j k l. And we have discovered a layer from here how b is related to a. So, my b tilde is equal to minus a tilde e to the power of minus 2 j k l. So, A is now known, B is now known, the solution is known, the solution is now known. Okay. So, let us put it together. I have xi is equal to A happens to be common. So, I will put A outside F by J K E S 1 plus E to the power of minus 2 J K L and inside I have e to the power of minus j k x and minus e to the power of minus 2 j k l e to the power of j k x e to the power of j omega t. Okay. So, now do some juggling here. I will take f and I will bring in e to the power of 1 minus j k l outside. So, I have e to the power of j k l minus x minus e to the power of minus j k l minus x e to the power of j omega t and divided by j k e s and here also I will take one e to the power of minus j k l so that I get e to the power of j k l plus e to the power of minus j k l. Okay. So, now what I will do for this term I will divide by 2 j multiply by 2 j and for this term I will divide by 2 and multiply by 2. Okay. So, this becomes equal to first of all this j k l will cancel out, then all the 2's will cancel out or let me do it properly f and this term here. This term is the sin. So, I get sin k l minus x okay. and then this is cos k l this part is cos k l. So, I will get a cos k l in the denominator all these constants are here j k e s constants are here. Then I have uh, a 2 here and a 2 j over there, I can cancel the 2. So, I get one extra j here and an e to the power j omega t. Okay. So, if I cancel the j, what I have is f sin k l minus x by cos k l by k e s. So, let me write k as omega by c, e as rho c square and s as s. Okay. So, I get a cancellation is equal to f by omega rho c s sin k l minus x by cos k l e to the power j omega t. Okay. This is exactly the solution form that we obtained for a string. Okay. String. So, we have uh, let us see what is it omega rho c s. So, this 
xi is f by omega rho c s sine k l minus x by cos k l e to the power j omega t. Okay. So, if we find the uh, mechanical impedance, okay, it will be minus j rho c s cot k l like the string. like this okay so it's purely imaginary and all arguments we gave above hold why we have a finite rod and therefore there is a reflection okay and there is no dissipation no damping So, that magnitude of B is equal to magnitude of A. How is that? We said B tilde is minus A tilde e to the power of minus 2 j k L. So, that the magnitude is the same magnitude. Okay. No damping. Therefore, returning wave is equal to returning or left traveling wave is equal to the incident wave or rather wave amplitudes okay amplitudes and therefore there is a constructive interference which gives rise to resonances And the forcing agent he says that whatever I put in is coming back to me the same amplitude from the finite end. Okay. So, the end is also non dissipative it is a fixed end. So, end is also non dissipative and the rod material is also non dissipative. And so, the forcing agent says whatever I put in I am getting back okay. and therefore, the real part of impedance, the real part of this impedance is 0, only the imaginary part survives. Okay. So, now this being the case all other cases will be very similar. So, I will not you know repeat, repeat what we did for the string except that this is a longitudinal wave. Now, just what is left is the sign convention. <laughs> for the boundary condition. Okay. So, if we have a rod let us say and then it is a finite rod and then at the end there is a impedance a general impedance z m l it is a point impedance okay it is a point impedance something is added at the end at the point okay now you have to put the boundary condition here also there can be some sign errors okay but what is it e del xi del x being the stress into s being the force will be equal to z m l tilde del xi by del t. This will be the form, there is no mystery form of the equation. Okay. Now, what is left is the sign part of it, what is left is the sign part of it. Okay. So, if I assume everything positive as before, assume everything is positive, assume positive terms. So, E is anyway positive, I will assume del xi del x positive, the positive constant, this is whatever is given, and velocity is positive. Okay. 
So now at the end, if del xi by del x is positive, that means the material is under tension, the material is under tension. Okay. So, if I take a cut, if I take a cut over here, the cut the material over here right at the end, okay. so I get the a piece, I get a piece of the bar and this condition whatever is there at the end and this bar is in tension. Okay. So, if it is in tension then this end portion will be pulled to the left okay. and therefore, this the right side is will be pulled to the right okay, by whatever it condition is there at the end and therefore, as a reaction this piece will have a leftward force on the end condition. Okay. I suppose you got it because this entire piece is in tension it will pull this end piece to the left and because this piece is in tension the end condition will pull this piece towards the right. As a result by Newton's third law, this end piece will pull the end condition to the left. So, that is the force on this end whatever is appended mechanical that mechanical tilde. Okay. So, now this being the situation, now what I have to do is respect the coordinate system. So, this is the direction by all conventions, positive conventions. After that, I would respect the coordinate system. Okay. So, we have said that this side is positive and therefore, this will acquire a negative sign. So, I have minus E del xi by del x into S will be equal to whatever be the impedance appended del xi by del t. So, that is the correct form of the equation okay, on the right end. Now, you should know how to do it for the left end and you will find for the left end this sign will not be there, this sign will not be there. Okay. With this I will close the rod um, portion also, uh, I mean we have seen enough of uh, the wave equation in one dimensions uh, so that we are equipped to go to acoustics. So, in the next lecture we will start deriving the acoustic wave equation. Thank you.